welcome back. And today we're going to talk about passing events um, in Angular using the broadcast and on method. Now there's an emit method that's part of the event passing mechanism, but we're not going to focus on that. Now why would you want to pass events? Well, sometimes you want to send a notification from one controller to another controller. And, or even between services, because you might have several services that are running, and remember they don't get reloaded. Of course, you can invoke methods and service to pass messages around, or pass notification. But sometimes that is not enough. And we'll see a situation here where just being able to call a method doesn't quite cut it. And we're gonna use that you no know, problem when the, just calling a method is not enough to show how broadcast and this event passing mechanism um, and being able to listen for a message helps us out. So let's get into it. Problem and then show how we're gonna use it later on. I'm gonna use a simple application from our previous example. I'm gonna try and add multi-user to it. Then we're gonna see how to solve that problem when we run into having multi-user work properly. And we take those things that we've learned and put it on the to-do application. Because of what we've learned, we're gonna be able to do a whole lot in our to-do application. We give it quite a number of features, like the ability of admin users who can see all the to-dos of everyone else, and users who can only see their own to-dos, users who can't change anyone else's to-do and that sort of thing. So all this we're gonna be able to add just by having this one capability of broadcast. But everything else is stuff that you already know. So let's start with a very applic simple application that we did before from one of chapter seven, section two. We'll take that and that's when we introduce routes. And for this application, what we're gonna add is the ability now to say we want a username in the header, you know, the header div um, to be shown above all pages because as you change from page view to view, we wanna be able to display something like who the current user is. Of course, there's gonna be one view, for example, like our login page, which wouldn't have that information, but we know to solve that because that's the exception. But you know, we can do things like hide if the user is not currently logged in or whatever, but for all other pages, you wanna be able to show who the current user is. And so that's sort of what we're gonna set up here by having a main controller um, to, to which we're gonna put in the body, and then for the header tag, we're gonna put a user, the print of the username. In order to keep this video short, um, the rest of this is gonna go by pretty fast, which is me setting up um, the different pages, login form, and so on, and the navigation between pages to show the issue of even when we have a service and the service allows us to say like log in or log out um, or even determine if the user is authenticated. Authenticated simply means that we have a, a logged in user, right? A valid user. And we can use that information to like hide parts of our page. The fact that is our main page gets runs very early and when that would have asked for the current user, it would have gotten the current user is no. And later on when we log in, it still wouldn't get updated. That's the issue. And so all this code is really going through very quickly and showing you this, but you can slow it down. Plus you can just look at the final result of the code. And it's gonna show the problem of which controllers get rerun and what much better get called as you hook up these pages with the intention of making sure that when you log in, your header would have been updated, but it can be updated because the main controller doesn't get rerun. And we're gonna see how to solve that. Okay, so after about 30 minutes of coding on the uh, previous app, we are finding a page where we can see that our, our main controller is not getting updated. Like the values it got at the beginning, um, they don't get updated when a new user log in. So what we're gonna do now is use this on method to register a function callback that says, on this particular event that I put here as a string, which I mistyped as UATH, but really AUTH for short for authentication, um, when there's an authentication event that tell me some something about authentication has changed, I want to rerun these two um, methods. And so we register for that in our main controller. And then in our service, and not on the logout function as I just typed, but rather on the service itself, we inject the root scope. Now remember when we talked about scope and the scope hierarchy, is there's always this root scope and then your scopes are derived from the root scope. So for all of our scope, if we broadcast a message on the root scope, it's gonna trickle down to all our scope because remember it's like a tree. So when a user logs in or logs out, we're gonna broadcast the event AUTH and because all um, our main controller is attached or a child of the root scope, it's gonna get updated. And we can see that how this is working now. And of course we can take out from um, all the other controllers the fact that we need to um, 
know where the user is because you know it works it's working fine the other thing we're going to do now is um, now that our main controller is being updated correctly we can put the authentication to hide you know um, the hello part of the um, output because there's no user when nobody's logged in so there's no point in just saying hello and so uh, of course we, we know to add the home and page button before so we're going to fix that and now we get the kind of usage that we want now we're going to take these exam ideas the only new thing here was this broadcast and on message and we're going to put that in our to-do application so if we switch over to our to-do application and start play with it a little bit we can see it though um, admin can log in create to-dos um, can create other users. Some of them are admin, and some of them are not admin. And um, if other users try to delete or update another user task, they are unable to do it. Um, of course, a user can delete their own task. Admin can delete somebody else's task, and, and of course, delete any other user. So you can see the user Sam try, tries to um, delete uh, user um, Bob's. I'm not, not only delete it, but I have to first try to change it and then delete it, and that didn't happen. It, it couldn't do it. Now, in terms of the changes that were required, um, once you had the user service, uh, which is basically what we've written in the previous example, now you just went back and updated the task service to take into account these different things, right? So you inject the user service into the task service, and now you can check to see before a, a, a task is created, if there's a current user, and who the current user is, and link it to that current user, right? So you take the user ID, for example, and um, add a property on the task to say, oh, this task belongs to this user. And so oh, we've updated the application, I have quite a bit of new navigation, right? You can log in, be taken to the home view, and then from there you can, of course, add to do, and then from anywhere there you can go to the user list, of course, if you're admin, but this is the full sort of navigation. And it's not even quite as detailed as it could be. But there's a lot going on now from a very simple to-do now that we've introduced users into it. So again, sorry that this had to be so fast. I'm trying to keep the video itself very short, but the code um, is still concise and simple. It's just that you should spend some time and go look at the code. I hope I've been able to teach you something in this video. Um, broadcast and event passing is very, very cool. The simple example that I did um, with the modifying the previous example from section two of chapter seven, you should be able to follow that. All you have to do is slow down the video or actually just take the code and look at it and you'll see. All right, take care, see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe or spread the word. All right, bye.